So the Destiny 2 Shadow Keep power level grind once you pass 900 is kind of slow, kind of tedious and you will at one time or another get to a stage where you become stuck and the process becomes even more tedious. How is that even possible? This method I will explain today will allow you to reach as high a power level as you are willing to spend your time doing this. How's it going guys? My name's DP Jen. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see daily Destiny 2 videos. Okay, so once you hit a power level of 900, the game opens up in terms of powerful rewards being handed out by certain vendors and so forth. But once they are done and dusted, what else can you do to reach a higher light? Well, you can use this method. This is a method you can use with the process I will explain on your second and third characters if you plan on leveling them up too. So once you hit a soft cap of 900, blues and legendary world drops become more or less useless. What this trick does is takes advantage of powerful gear from vendors upon doing things like flashpoints and weekly challenges, as well as taking advantage of prime engrams too to help level up your entire gear set. So firstly to do this it will require you to have legendary shards or glimmer as well as dust light shards. Spider is your man if you are low on dust light shards, but I imagine you ain't if you farm the forges like many did. Spider is where the legendary shards and glimmer are needed to purchase dust light shards when they come into his rotation. So your best friend here is Devrim K on the EDZ. Now I don't know if Devrim K is the only vendor which does this but take advantage of it while you can. So Devrim K actually rewards you from his packages gear which is at the same level as your gear power level. For instance, as you can see my hunter is a power level 905, but my gear level is a 902. My artifact is giving me 3 plus levels making me a 905. Now Devrim K rewards you packages based on your gear level. So we can actually use him paired with a couple of other methods to actually increase power level, no matter what level you are over 900. So obviously I have certain items which are lower than others, some higher than 902 and some below it. The game we play with Devrim is to try and get 902 gear within the slots I need it. For instance, my helmet class item and heavy are all 901s. So what I will do here is open packages and try and get 902s in these particular slots. So once you have all your gear at least matching your non-artifact power level, mine being a 902, this is when you go out and do anything which will help you increase that power level overall. Then rotating back to Devrim, and then matching your non-artifact power level via opening his packages, spending those dust light shards. Because every little percentage matters people, trust me. So once you've done this, get back out there and get another powerful engram. Prime engrams are the best for this, and in my opinion, prime engrams drop mostly within the standard vanguard strikes. So gain yourself a prime, apply it, which will probably take you a few levels higher, then head back to Devrim K and rinse and repeat. This in the long run, this in the tedious run, will eventually see you slowly raising your power level up to that cap I believe of 950 and then it's literally the end end game activities like the raid, the certain nightfalls and so forth which will take you to a 960, not including your artifact. Now to level second characters and to get them above a 900 before even starting the campaign is pretty simple. Transfer all your high level weapons across from your main. Then it's just a case of getting armor from your collections as it's an average between your second character level and the high level weapons you have just transferred. Now once you hit a dead end with the armor out of collections, the resonant stems on Mars are your best friends if you have them. They drop anywhere between 1 and 4 blues from each which will be a lot higher than your current level if below 900 and these will help you literally get to 900 super super quick. And you can do this easily before even starting the campaign. And once you hit that 900, you can always take advantage of the Devrim K strat. Simple. The process is long and tedious and it's mainly for the folks out there who have come to a halt. So I do hope you enjoy it. But the way Destiny is now, the way Destiny 2 Shadowkeep is now, they have definitely limited the power for rewards. I mean, going through various things, they have taken them away from Ada 1, they've taken them away from the Callous Treasures. They've even taken it away from Spider and his main wanted bounty. So yeah, the process of reaching that higher level now has definitely been slowed down. And it's for this very reason I think they may just take away the point of Devrim K giving you rewards based on your non-artifact power level. So use this while you can, people. I know it's already helped a lot of people reach a much higher level than what you think is possible. 
And I know there are other methods in the game of getting uh, powerful drops, much like playing PvP survival through V3 and ranking up, going through those tiers of ranks. You do get powerful gear per each rank you get through. But I mean, unless you're in a great, great team, that ain't really happening, is it now? So yeah, use this while you can, people, and hopefully it does help you out. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.